the Dishing with Donna show. Again, I just have to say it a couple times throughout today's show. If you are new, listening, or tuning in to the normal show that was on at 4 o'clock, things have changed around, and now 4 o'clock is the new home to the only show about food, wine, and restaurants, and it is actually a celebrity food show. So, moving on, we just got done uh, talking to Herb Mesa, who has been on the show over and over and over again. If you go to my blog, which, by the way, is www.dishingwithdonnashow.com, dot blogspot dot com you will see probably three or four full article blogs on nothing but herb and myself and everything going I on. I love it. You just keep having me back. I think you like having me around. <laughs> I, know. I told him to stay because we're, we are going to try and, and have some time to talk about food later and I definitely want you here for that. And I like uh, he obviously he does <laughs> but right now we are going to talk to chef lamana who is the senior executive chef of turner field turner turner field turner stadium the atlanta braves chef thank you so much for coming on to the show how are you i'm great donna thank you very much for having me you know i'm a big fan and uh I'm just glad, finally, you asked me to come on your show. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you're finally here. And you brought us some uh, some treats. I brought you our famous hammer from uh, the 755 Club. Uh, we also feature it in uh, the Chop House and uh, also in In Seats. It's, it's, it's taken off so well. <clears throat> it's been an awesome, awesome sandwich. So it's, it's a fried, fried chicken, uh, waffles. Uh, waffles on. are the bread. Like, instead of the pieces of the That's bread right. on either side, it's right. waffles. So it's fried chicken. Uh, bacon, pepper jack cheese, fried onions, in between two pieces of waffle toasted with a, oh, with a pecan mayonnaise. It's, un, it's unbelievable. Oh my, it was so good. He brought several in here. We've already been scarfing them all down. Thank you so much. Herb good. and I, we got some pictures coming up here for you a little bit. Woo! All right, so here, I got you here beside me. Um, you are the executive chef for the Atlanta Braves, but also for the entire stadium as a whole. Is that correct? Exactly. I take care of the, the, the whole building uh, from concessions to... Uh, to the restaurants, to the players, um, and it, 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 honestly, I just have a, an awesome team behind me, and that's what makes that operation um, work so smoothly. And you've been here for five years. I have, uh, originally from uh, Canada, uh -huh. um, born and raised in a small town of Thunder Bay, and uh, um, went to school in Ottawa, met my wife there, and uh, spent another 23 years in Ottawa after I finished my, uh, my apprenticeship. I uh, worked with Four Seasons Hotels and the Chateau Laurier before I got into the sports and entertainment in 1996, where I opened up uh, the uh, the home of the Ottawa Senators, now called the Scotiabank Place. Oh, wow. And, but now you're here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. We love it here. We'll Again. Be here for, we'll be here for a while. Well, um, you had mentioned before the 755 Club, and this was actually on the menu. We were going to talk a little bit more about that later, but... From a listener point of view, and I've talked to a lot of people, and they, they know you're on the show today, and everybody wants to hear stories, quote unquote. <laughs> everybody wants to hear which players have the weirdest food requests or special needs because of allergies or which have been a problem, you know, taking food back. or Does that not happen? Do you have any crazy fun stories of the Atlanta Braves? Well, I, I know you want to hear all, all, all the scoop and... Uh... Um, you know, I, I, it is radio. I certainly, is. <laughs> I certainly need to be careful. But no, to, to, to be honest, you know the ball, the ball players, and I've cooked, I've cooked for for ball players and hockey players and, and superstars uh, when they come through to do concerts. And I was in Canada. The, the ball players are great. I mean, they, they all they want is, is 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 a great meal, home style, but lots of it. Well, it's very different coming from the minors into the majors, as, as my director of operations, Dan, has said. He said, when you're in the majors, you're lucky to get, I mean, when you're in the minors, you're lucky to get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich wrapped in a bag. And then all of a sudden you go to the majors, and it's a full-on lobster, crab, seafood, amazing steak, <laughs> filet mignon, buffet, every single game. Is that true? Absolutely. Uh, for, for the longest time, uh, the, the Braves uh, uh, had a chef um, in the, in the uh, in the clubhouse, actually cooking for them. But but this year he uh, uh, moved out of town, so you know we took we took over um, most most of that. Um, but as far as uh, 
you know, as, as far as the uh, uh, foods in, in the clubhouse, I mean, they, they, they love, you know, the home style um, meatloaf. I mean, they just, they just go crazy for that. Um, fried chicken, you know, stuff like the hammer that I brought you here today, something that they, they, just, they just love. Um, so these roasted, are just good guys that want pork, good food. Good, good, home, good home, home style cooking. Comfort food. Comfort food is, is really where it's at. You know, chicken, chicken parmesan is, is one of their favorites. Now, when you say they, who's they? The, the team. The players, As a whole, the players, <laughs> there's the nobody like specific that has specific requests of things that they like. Well, I mean, they're. Yeah. What's the Bobby when, Cox when story? She wants when you know, I know she wants to scoop. <laughs> He's trying to be, <laughs> trying to be politically correct here. I'll tell you, you know, you know, Brian McCann loves his his uh, Bentley's popcorn. I mean, you, you, you there we go. See, walk, there we go. You can you can walk into his car and look under his seat. And you'll find empty bags of Bentley popcorns all over the place. That's, that's what he munches on on his way home. That's all funny. Right. <laughs> See, that wasn't so hard, go. was it? Now, what were you telling me earlier when we were talking on the phone this morning about uh, Bobby Cox or Janet Jackson? Well, well, Which one was it? Bobby Cox and Janet Jackson. <laughs> no, I didn't start that cer rumor. Certainly not together. That's probably an odd couple there. Well, um, I'll tell you, uh, a couple years ago when I was, when I was a couple years after I started at, the, at, at Turner Field, um, it, it was it was almost the end of the uh, uh, Sunday game. You know, Sunday games are always at one or one thirty. So you know, by four four thirty, the game's coming to an end, and I'm I'm getting ready to go home, and I'm all packed up, and, and I get this call, and uh, and Bobby's looking for something because he just remembered it was his wedding anniversary. He just he was, remembered. And he was on he was on his way home, and, and, and he wanted something real quick. So um, you know, we cut him a couple of couple of real nice New York steaks. Marinated them in a little bit of olive oil and, and fresh rosemary and some garlic, and put them in a Ziploc bag so it would marinate on his way. You know, by the time he got home, all he had to do was throw it on the grill, prepped him some uh, some uh, some asparagus and some roasted <laughs> potatoes, and he was all he was all set to go. So he was definitely the hero of the day. So basically, what you really did was save his marriage. You saved his life. Never <laughs> mind his marriage. You saved that man's life. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, it, we... was, it was either that or he probably kicked some sand at me. So I not really had to think about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was the Janet Jackson story you were wanting to tell me before we go to a commercial break? Well, Janet, you know, Janet was in uh, uh, doing a concert in, in Ottawa when I, when I was there, and when she came through Ottawa, uh, she wasn't feeling very well. She, her throat was, she was catching a cold. Her throat was sore, and um, she was, she was, she came into the uh, into the arena um, and asked if I could if I could fix her something up for her throat, and I made her a real and her probably would be proud of me. I made her a real nice uh, ginger tea. Oh, nice. Um, and, and, and that went over very, very well. And I, I did some grilled salmon for her. She eats very, very light. No, no fat, no Well, she no has dairy. been eating up and down, mm -hmm. up and down for many years. But, so, but so she, she needed you to help her with her throat. So I got her, I got her the, uh, I made her a real nice, uh, strong ginger tea, some, some grilled salmon and some vegetables. And uh, she sent me back a picture of herself and um, just thanking me. Love, Jackson. I've got that hanging up in my office. I thought that neat. was pretty cool. That is neat. And see, you're obviously the chef because I would have just sent her ice cream. So <laughs> she had the throat. Listen, we have got to cut through a very quick commercial break. But as soon as we come back, you brought a pretty heavy-duty giveaway. I did. I'm very excited about it. We are going to reveal this big giveaway. Get your cell phones ready because as soon as we come back... I'll call it. It's <laughs> Herb's getting his phone out. People in the office are starting to rip out their phones. You will too as soon as you hear. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Dishing with Donna show.